Hi guys, it's Luton here. Welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Soaked Edition. So you guys, I, I wanted to come back to this park later, not you know immediately, but everyone was like, finish the park Luton, do more to the park Luton. So I was like, okay, All right, we'll come back to this park. And um, we've got lovely summer air in the background. Now we can see here that we created last time, remember? We set our new entrance in here. And all the peeps look, see, they're walking up and down and round and round. They're loving the hell out of this slide. But remember, I had some new plans for the park. Now, a couple of things I just want to say first of all to you guys, my awesome subscribers on this channel. Um, a couple of things. Sunday, if you hadn't noticed, over the weekend I had, well, I participated in uh, the level battlefields 2 versus 2 helicopter tournament, which was epic it was so good so much fun however it took me all saturday night and it took me all sunday sort of editing and using that time etc um, it was a very very late night on saturday and editing on sunday was hard as well um, and i still have got a lot to do like the, the edit and export times for all those videos was really intense um, and as i say i've still got more to do in fact i am doing this stuff processing right now so Consequently, it just meant that I, I, I just didn't get time to do Super Hang On. And also, you know, I kind of half made a decision that I was like, do you know what, I'm going to put a pin in Super Hang On this week because we know how it's been going. And I really wanted to take a day, like I said, to actually sort of play that properly through a bit and, and not just kind of do three races again because I feel like, you know, we've really got to a bit of a, a wall there and I need to do something else about that. So that's why Sunday got a pin in it. Uh, also, I, I wanted to do Last of Us today but people were asking about this and also I thought you know I can I can finish this park here um, and then we'll get onto it and then on top of that currently right now I mean it, it's very late right now um, it's like uh, and I, all my time at the moment in the evening you know I've, I've ha I'm starting to uh, you know I've been doing a lot of late nights and stuff uh, getting all these videos done and it's starting to like take its toll a little bit I gotta say um, I, I work pretty hard to get things done in the evenings and stuff, um, but lately I've really been burning the candles and it is starting to take a toll. Um, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not functioning so well. And uh, so I really need to kind of, you know, I was like, ugh. And it just so happened that, I, but I still wanted to do this video today. <laughs> Don't rest assured, I wanted to do this, um, but I just wanted, I thought it'd be better to do The Last of Us. But I'm currently set up for PC recording right now. It just means I'd have to unplug everything, set it all up. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to get some Last of Us tomorrow, uh, and then I'll, have, I'll get like a bunch of footage tomorrow, hope, and then, then good to go. Anyway, let's get into the park. Come on, I've been talking for ages, but I just wanted to give you a little update on how I'm feeling at the moment. <laughs> it sort of relates a little bit to sort of how video production goes. We got a coaster ball, whatever the hell that is. What is a coaster ball? Oh, it's like a coaster. That's a ball. The car is able to rotate freely as it is launched up vertical section of track. Great. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to work on the water park aspect. We can obviously do some other things as well. We could have some boats out here. Um, as I've said before, I don't want this video to be super long uh, just because of editing reasons. On the other hand, you know, we need, we need cash, which is always a little bit of a problem when it comes to these kind of things. Now, I say I, I did have some ideas here about what we could do, but it's, it's kind of funding related. Um, I don't know how my staff are feeling right now. Let's look. Everybody's having a wonderful time. So that's good news. Whoa, it's super dark. I forgot how dark. Look at that thing. That's too fast for people. They're going to feel not well after that ride, are they? Uh, Mixed master display. Let's just get on this. How do I turn this thing off? Oh, that's one of the most intense fireworks you've ever seen. And you see, we're kind of hitting a wall here. We're not really making much cash which is surprising you know I've had this problem look at this overcrowding it's real busy down here and um, I have had this problem before where you seem to not be able to make money as easily uh, there's often some little tricks and things and like I said there was that thing about um, sort of people going on rides and stuff and I should probably check that out this ride's kind of weird but money is a big factor, obviously, like I say, when it comes to building stuff. If you don't have money, you can't build it, um, which is a bit of a tricky one. But um, I wonder if you can build, like, 
two slides off of one thing. Because if I could, I... Let's, let's try that. And we are slowly making money. It's going up a little bit here. I've never tried to make two slides off one thing before. Oh yeah, I was going to make a ring rough, wasn't I? I remember now. I remember now. Let's see what we got here. 10,000. That's more like it. Still five grand, that's a lot. Yeah, see these things are big, look. Do -do 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 -do. How's that gonna work for us? How's that gonna work? Where's the exit point even? So you go that brings the slides up. Does it even have a exit point? No, it doesn't seem to have an exit point. That's kind of weird. Some of these rides I don't get. They seem to have like top starting points and end starting points. I'm going to do what I said though. Um, I'm going to build another pool section here first. Uh, am I? I don't know. I'm trying to think how best to use this space. Yeah, I know what I want to do. Oh, we are making some money back up here. We're going to have another sort of hexagonal pool thing right here. Okay, we're going to do this. See, look, that's two grand already. No, okay, I'm not going to do that. If it's costing me two grand, I'm not going to do that. Let's get our... Let's, let's just see how we go with cash on this. All right, here's our entry point. So... I'm not going to start this one too far up. Yeah, see, I think the... Uh, I, I think I've actually built these in a way they weren't meant to be used before now. Because... If we look at these things, right... See, that one has exits. This one doesn't. Neither does that. Let's just take a look at this a minute. Yeah, see, look. You can have, like... Slides around. That's interesting that it has a... Uh, a sort of a... A one going back up again. I've not actually seen that. So you put it in the, there like that, and I assume that the uh, tires are meant to go back up. Like people are supposed to put them back on. Well, let's let's build that with that in mind. I'm just kind of actually fascinated to try this as an experiment now because I, I have kind of used them before, but not massively extensively. And I never built one how that was designed right there. Um, all right, let's try this. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. Now the trouble is, I don't even know if we're going to have enough cash to do this with. I'm going to build this kind of simple, because I don't want it to go kind of crazy overboard on the money aspect. Let's do this. I want it to start going this way. Right, we need a bit of height so that it'll uh, actually go somewhere. Right, so now we're into this editor, by the way, because we've not really used this before, okay. So if you want to know how the editor works, basically you have sort of track sections, this denotes what you can do. Uh, this is a station, right, which is where you begin from. So I'm going to add like a couple of state. you can also do it like this. Like. So I'm going to add a station part, and then this is the way we're going, station part. And then once we've got a couple, we can start to sort of turn it down into actually the flume itself, right? And then from there what you do is like do that, so you get like a straight piece. So I'm going to start with the steep curve, general curve, I don't know. Yeah, okay, general curve. So, place a general curve like that. People are going to start to go down. And then we can do like a long sweeping curve, or we can do a short sweeping curve. I'm going to go for a short curve right here. So you can see how much cash this is costing. It's quite an expensive process. Often you might want to start a ride, and then you maybe need to like leave it and come back to it. Now again, we've got, we had the return thing, so I'm going to need to incorporate that as well. Uh, I'm going to need to add like another short turn here and then we're going to go for now again 
looking at the terrain here, like that's going to end up sort of intersecting. So I can't really get away with that. But I have to go for another short, sort of gentle curve. See now already that we're coming down to the ground here. So I'm going to level this off. But got to keep an eye on the cache as well here. Maybe we can go for a bit of a. We can go for a little bit of a rise here. A bit of a rise. We're going to go back to flat before we can actually start to come down again, you see. Okay. Let's do one flat piece. Then we're going to do a... Uh... Yeah, we'll do another turn here. I was hoping to be able to sort of go down on ourselves, but... Sort of down and then turn it around, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have the cash to do it. Let's try that. Yeah, see, this is where it's going to get tricky. Uh, that's see, see, if you do it like this, we can put like a really extreme. We can go back, put a really extreme curve in. Then, I, see, if we put this in, I don't think you'll be able to level it off. Oh, we can, we can. But you see, yeah, see, look, you can add like these quite sort of extreme turns in here. Trouble is, as well. I'm going to need to have enough space for the return. Maybe our return can kind of come up here rather than... So they're going to down, round, round. So we've got a few curves and stuff basically. It's a pretty sh simple one but I'm just kind of... Uh, I'm just kind of ball, you know, messing around right here. So we've just got a bit of a turn, turn, turn. Now we've got the flume end as well which is important. So I'm going to have that and then we need to go flume end. But look at this, you see. It intersects with the bottom of the pool, we haven't built it high enough. And this is where it always gets really tricky with these kind of things, because as you're going along, it's often not so easy to tell what kind of height you're actually running at. So we're gonna try again, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come at it from a different angle. I'm gonna come down this way. I got a bit of a nice sort of sweeping long curve there. Mm. Now, the trouble is, though, look. See how much we've come down just from that little drop right there? This is the trouble. We need to level that off first. Round. Another straight piece. Another round. And then maybe. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. See, again, it was screwed again. We're going to just have to keep putting straight pieces in here. Flume end. Okay, well it's going to sort of fire people into the water, but that's okay. Now, pre now we're only, I'm going to have to run mon you know, money a little bit here, because we need some cash. Not the most exciting flume, you might agree, but I'm a bit cash strapped at the moment and I just wanted to demonstrate. You know, I think that's pretty fun. Let's just put a, there we go, look, see this thing's pretty fast, look at him go. I think that'd be pretty fun, you're flying around in here, Whoa, hey. Shush, shush, shush. And it comes down to the end. Boosh. Just like that. Um, now, see, they do auto gen. So I don't know why you would have a return on it. Maybe it's if people want to go around again. As I say, I've never built one with a return on. So I'm going to do that just out of curiosity that we actually have it. Um, now. I need to turn that off. Slide end to left hill, right. I'm super curious about this lift up. I'm really 
it's really strange about how that other one had it. Um, <clears throat> the uh, the third one had a lift. It's kind of weird. So I'm not sure how you go about uh, actually placing that in there. Maybe something that we have to uh, station transition. Oh yeah, that's where you move between. Okay. Maybe I have to actually place like a straight piece first of all. Or maybe this has to actually go on here, I don't know. Yeah, okay, sure, let's have that. Um, yeah, let's just have that and then... No, well, let's do that. Ah, there we go. That's what I thought. Okay, so now... Ah, okay. So it only allows you right, 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 slide end to left hill right. Ah, okay, so we need to Ah, okay, so you can do two things. You can have a slide end like this basically. That's the way we do it. So you have to create like a slide end, which then has a lift. How interesting. See, but it's very specific. So basically, okay, if you build this in, then it functions in that specific way. But if you don't, then it will just continue. Oh, I haven't added my flume section back. Um, so basically, okay, right now I understand it because I've not tried to do it that specific way before. So the way that it works is you can either have a flume end. So what happens is it just goes around and you would do kind of what you do when you go to a water park. You would carry your ring back up to the top or you build it with that end sort of riser. Okay, but in order to do that, you have to be sort of positioned in a way that that's going to happen, which we are not. Um, but that's fine. So we can just do this. Look. And I can get rid of this part here because we don't need it. Oh, hang on. Where, where, where? where did that come from? Okay, now I'm really confused because I didn't think that we could actually have that. Let's see what happens. I know, look, see, we can't... See, this won't work because I can't even turn this. That's the point. See, I can't make any corners with this. We don't need it anyway. So anyway, that's our station. Now I could make another sort of specific rise, but I think what I can do is actually make like a path. So paths, and I think I can do this. So that uh, my guys can get down onto this ride. Let's just do that. Another steps down. If you're wondering why I kind of built it out away from it, it's because it's going to have to go down again. And I wanted I wanted enough height that I could uh, do it in that way. And I hate building these paths, seriously. <laughs> See what a pain this is? You think it's going the right way, and then it's not going the right way. No, go back where you were. There we go. So I need to go along, and then turn, and then down, and then along, and then around. I hate doing these things. Look, and we are nowhere near. No, go back. Right, here we go. 
Let's do it like this, and then straighten it up, and then turn it. Then go down some more. Are we even there yet? Yeah, now we are. Right, I think we're there. Maybe. This thing is a pain in the ass. There we go. Jesus. Something tells me, right? <laughs> this is a good example in irritation. Something tells me it would have been a hell of a lot easier to build another spiral staircase. Which is what I might do. Before it's too late and people actually start using it. Oh man. This is a good example in how path making is a pain. These specific paths are really irritating, it's got to be said. Right, so, instead of that, I'm going to do this. No, we're going to do this. No, we're not going to do that, we're going to do that. Okay. And then we're going to put this on here like so perfect right now people can go on that other side right we're done green to go oh what a palaver this is why I don't use the uh, editor very much okay it's kind of dark out here in the uh, sorry for that um, it's kind of dark out here. Might put some lamps sort of underneath the thing. There we go. People are getting in the mix. People are going for it. They're going for the ride. And we still have decent cash as well. We've got like 2,300. So we're raising up some money. So we've got one slide going on there. Sorry, my... Uh my headset clip broke a little while ago, so I can't clip it anywhere, so it keeps why I keep slipping off my lap. I need to fix that. Oh there we go. He's loving the crap out Oh look at him, he can't even control his excitement. Go on my friend. Shroosh, let's see what happens to him when he lands. Hope he doesn't crash into these people on these inflatable sharks. Oh it's no it slows right down. It's barely even going to make a hit. Oh my god, he totally bombed that woman. <laughs> Look out for the kids, dude. Oh my god. He totally crushed that girl. Oh no. Anyway. Christ, good job I didn't make it even more steep than that. Imagine, they'd be flying like into people. <laughs> it's bad enough as it is. Okay, so that's our little slide slide done. I don't know why I made the uh, station for this so long. It totally doesn't need to be all the way out here. Anyway, this gives us a good opportunity to make a new slide. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new, new slide. Disco 1 has been fixed. Well, that's good news. Hmm. Got some options here. I wonder if I can be super sneaky and get away with having like another body slide. We're going to try and make a body slide, guys, which is even more tricky than the other one sometimes. Uh, this is going to be a painful one, I know it. Right, we'll go from here. Need a bit of height to start with. Luckily, let you see that the price doesn't cost so much with these. He says. Right, we'll have two stations. Right, then we're straight into these flumes. Now the good thing about the flume, right, is you can choose for it to be covered or not. So we've got these covered sections right here. So if I do this... Where was the uh, cover? Ah, here we go. See this? Cover it like that or not. So if we go back... Yeah, I can cover it from the word go. So we're going to have a fully covered, well, or mostly fully covered tube. We start off like so, we go down, we go down. This is pretty intense. Now I've got to be super careful here because 
I need to be careful that I don't crash straight into this stuff right here. Where are we going to go with this? Well, I'm going to try and go straight over the... Uh, well, am I going to go straight over the pool? I don't know. Do I want to do that, really? I think what I want to do is kind of bring it this way around. Do some mad loop and then bring it back in the pool, maybe. Anyway, regardless of that, we need to straighten it up. We don't want maybe a fully tight turn. Let's go with a, a calmer turn. Another half turn. And we'll straighten it up, take the lid off. Oh yeah, this is working. Do 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 do. I'm going to build it up, 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 strain it off, I'll just give them a bit of a, and you'd be, <laughs> wouldn't you be freaking out, you come flying down this thing, you're going up again, can you imagine going up on a non-covered top, right, we'll cover the tube so they go back down, now again, I've got to be a bit careful here, what are we sort of intersecting with, see how it, I don't know if I'm going to get away with that. Oh, that's not going to work. But a gentle bit will. Okay, now I need a bit of space to kind of go out and then come back again. Watching my cache right here. Okay, that brings us nicely onto the... Now I'm going to take that bit off. Brings us back around. Now this is where it gets tricky, because I need to bring it down and enough to bring the sort of flume in, but the trouble is I've got this sort of exterior park going on. I can't really crash in on this, so... You can also hit the auto-complete. I'm curious to see what it does here. When you hit auto-complete... Whoa! Okay, that is an insane suggestion. What the f what the hell? I've never seen that as an option before. Okay, it's sort of decided to auto-complete back to there, which obviously is not what we want to do. So, I'm going to click no to that. So, auto-complete, as I say, it can be good for sort of completing roller coasters when you're near to the end and you can't be bothered to sort of figure out the logistics of it. Um, Right, so we're going to want to go over. Now, I don't know exactly where I need to start coming down here. I also don't know exactly where it's going to allow me to... Yeah, here we go. See, this is the trouble. I can't... can't fully come down there. Well, this is okay. That's pretty high. See, this is the trouble. Is the height it's making me come in at. But I mean, look at the height again on those ones. Well, you know, it's the same height as we've got over there. I'm just surprised that that's the height it wants to do it at. If it was me, I'd, I'd want to come down one. Although well, it's not having any of it. So bollocks to it. That's the height they're coming in on. To me, that looks insanely extreme, but um, whatever. Apparently, that's the height people like. It's the same height as the one I've got over here, look. Definitely the same. Just about. Maybe it's one touch higher. I mean, potentially... Yeah, but see, I can't go any lower. I'm just going to try and go a couple lower here. I 
Yeah, see, I can't get any lower than that. That's the height it's going to... That's so high. That's so high, seriously. You wouldn't want me to come into my water park. Imagine the, the damage it's going to do to you. Anyway, that's her ride. Our suicide ride. I think that's what I'll have to call it, is suicide. I actually kind of like that colour, so I'm going to go with this sort of rust colour. Um, let's test run it. Okay, there's our ride, suicide. Let's test it out on this poor test dummy and see what happens to it. There we go, he's just going a bit of a speed. Up he goes, oh, he's down into the tube. He's getting ready to come flying out, there he goes, look at him go. How far is he going to fly? Jesus Christ, nearly to the other end of the pool. That is one hell of a job. <laughs> oh man, I mean that guy's getting halfway in the pool. Look at the stats. Wow. There's some points right here. Going 50 kilometers an hour. Jesus, it's so far. I'm kind of a bit scared. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I'm totally opening that without any other, without asking any questions. Hopefully the safety inspectors are not going to come around to my poor. If I was doing this myself, I'd probably maybe take a little bit more time and uh, ensure that it's 100% safe. But that would mean like going back and starting all over again, you know. And to be honest, I'm just not going to do that. There we go, it's open for business. Peeps can take their own risks. That's such a super bright colour, that thing. I think we could do more rings on here. Hold on a sec. Oh, okay. Maybe if I had a bigger station, I could have more cars. Just a thought. I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, I can. There we go. That's a good reason to have a bigger station. I can have more cars, get more people going down the ride. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you didn't know... No, oh, come back, my friend. Come back. It's open for business. They're open. Ah, the hell with you. Alright, is anybody going on my slide of death yet? Seems not. Maybe they've got the, uh... Maybe they've got the idea that it's suicide. Oh, no! This little girl's going for it. Oh, no. Jane D. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll never survive. Oh my god. She's going for it. She knows no fear. <laughs> oh no. This is terrible. I was expecting somebody like this guy to go on it first of all. Ray F. Come on Ray. You're a big man. Oh, they're going on the easy mode ride. She's the only one doing it. <laughs> Jane, it's not too late to turn back. Don't do this to yourself. Oh god, I'm scared. What if she dies, guys? I'll get sued or something. Yeah, I like that that's the I like that that's what my first worry is, that I'll get sued, not like her personal safety. I'm such a good park owner. Okay. Oh my god, she's nearly ready to go. Hey, we can actually watch this. Where's the thing? Here it is. Holy Christ! Jane, hold on to yourself. Oh my good lord. Ah, it's at night as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, she's fine. She's fine. She loved the hell out of it. Look where it put her. What's her thoughts? She's got no thoughts about, sorry for the extreme loud, I don't know how loud that was, it was super loud for me. Right, thoughts, no thoughts yet. Well, either way, she did well there. Fair play to Jane D. She knows no fear. Whoa, look at this guy go. Oh my 
god. They're not thinking anything about the ride, but anyway, doesn't matter. Right, things are going pretty good. We've got extra slides now. I'm going to put some more lighting down. Floundering Ferry, apparently, we've got a new ride. 550. Yeah, let's whack that in somewhere. We haven't got enough of these other rides, other attractions, so uh, let's get one down. We could put it here, even. Look, that's the perfect place, maybe. If I can get it on ground level. Yeah, there we go. And turn that around a little bit. Yeah. Is this the right way around? No. I'm going to be like that. Now I need the ticket office to work properly, so I'm going to put it here and the exit like that. And I need my path tool. There we go. There we go. And I don't need to do too much with this thing. I'll just put the price up a little bit and open it. There we go. Colours even match pretty good, so that guy is open for business. We've we'll got some new people going on there. People are a little bit scared of this ride, I think. If you look at this queue compared to this one, yeah, it's a bit too intense, maybe. For some, oh, there's someone going on it right now. What's the thoughts on it? Here goes nothing. That's, that's definitely true. And they really go flying. Ring ride, that's proven successful. People are enjoying that as well. They're going kind of moderately on it. So, what to do next? Well, we need a bit of cash because we're sort of... We've made that money back, but uh, we're sort of not really raking it in at this point. Anyway, we're coming up to just about where maybe I want to stop today. I don't want a massive, epic, long episode. Oh, like I say guys, um, I really want to get on, I'm gonna, like I said already, I'm going to do some more Last of Us because um, put a pin in that. I, I kind of didn't anticipate that you guys would enjoy this series as much as people have been enjoying it. Um, so that's kind of why I did a few more because I was like, ah, people actually, because I love the hell out of this game. If I could, I'd probably just play this game on and on. Uh, so let me, let me know your thoughts on that. Um, I haven't named any staff in this park because that's actually in the other wild park we're doing that. But uh, I did take note of those people, so you'll be coming up. I'll probably go back to the uh, wild park on the next episode. Next episode. Um, but we've got more slides and stuff we can make here. We've got the H2 bowls thing. We can still do that. The lazy river, which I find like the most boring ride in the world. Um, and we can do some more slides and stuff. I'd quite like to, um, if you've ever been to a pool in Dorset, um, you may know Splashdown, which is pretty cool water park as it goes for that. I always used to love the hell out of it. So maybe for a project on one day we'll actually make Splashdown, because that would be quite awesome to do. Um, I'll maybe do that on like just a blank park, and I'll just make it, sort of build it up. That'd be pretty fun to do, I think. Um, anyway, so we're coming up towards, I say, the end. Let's, let's just sort of increase our park generally. We have got a little bit of space up here, and I don't think this area gets utilised so well, so possibly get something, you know, kind of get around these things. There's the potential that we can have another ride, slide, slide ride, start up here, kind of go around and come back down again. That's another possibility. See that nobody's using my other path. They're all going for the spiral staircase. Oh, there's a couple of people using the path. Okay. See, now this is what I was talking about earlier. Look at the insane overcrowding. And this is down to just sort of managing where people go better, basically. And uh, trying to sort of move your traffic around a little bit it helps if you have a reason or a place for them to go. A lot of people are coming up here because it's the quickest way to go to the water park. So they're going to come into the entrance here, they're going to go straight up and straight to the park. There's some more busyness going on down here. I could probably do with a few more shops. I could also probably do with a few more uh, janitors if we look at how much mess there is down here. So I'm going to buy a new janitor. By the way, everyone's happy. I'm going to put him down here. And uh, I'm actually somebody's just been ill apparently. But I'm also going to give 
his only task to be sweeping. He's 60% lazy and I've only just got him. Oh, people really are being ill after those these rides. <laughs> right, let's get some shops there, like I say, because we haven't really had too many shops. Cutlasses. Yeah. Oh my god, that's like the best shop ever. Yeah, I'll leave it at the same price. Just want to give some people some cool stuff. I don't remember making an inf do we actually ha do we have an inflatable store? I don't remember building an inflatable store. Oh yeah, there is one there, yeah. I just don't remember it. I remember putting a sunglasses store somewhere. I think that was over there too, maybe. Or did I dream that? I'm not sure. Can't tell now because it's night time and everything looks crazy at night time on here. Pirate hats, I don't know. I don't want to overdo the Parrot balloons, yeah, we'll have the hell out of that. I'm gonna put that there. We'll have a parrot balloon. 170, I think. Okay, no, not Mixed Master again. No. Sandwiches, yeah, let's get a sandwich stall in there. Give, some, give people some healthy options. I'm just gonna randomly check. Subsidiary things, synchronize, price up a little bit, open that up, right, got some stuff going on, yep, people are enjoying, people are enjoying very much, now what else can we do here today, Must we get a new ride in somewhere. I don't know if we've got any particularly water-themed rides as such. Oh, there's the dinghy slide, which you remember I do particularly enjoy. Log flume as well. It would be quite easy to probably put some kind of roller coaster out here. Let's just see what... The, these are usually insane. Oh yeah, it's the Thrill Lift Extreme, which is a really weird ride, it's got to be said. I'll show you that another time. Um, what other options? Well, we've got the Coaster Ball one. I don't want to make because that's going to take ages and cost a million pounds. We've only got a thousand to spare. We're back to my dinghy slide, but people do love the hell out of these, and it would actually. Ocean turns. Yeah, this is the one I built before that's cheap. If we just let my cash build up a little bit, we might actually be able to get away with this. Yeah, see, I can build it here, but I'll just have to do that a bit or something. Yeah, actually that's kind of higher than I want it to be. Oh, but that's not. That's okay. It's actually a kind of cool place to have it. It is always better when you can kind of get the pieces on the ground, but what about over here? Yeah, I could handle it being there. It's going to cost me two, uh, two point six k though. Do 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 do. Hmm. Trickiness. I'm going to put a pin in that. I'm gonna put a pin in that. This is a real tight. It's a, it's a tight space to get things into because we really, you know, there's a bit of space out here. I'll tell you what we might do. We could try and use some of this space here and create like a water ride. Let's try and do that. Okay. Um, these these are not really insanely exciting rides. Uh, they're gentle rides, really. Uh, ooh, insect house. Kind of like that. Other rides. Oh, hang on, why are we going to need boats? Oh, here we go. Mid right, what should we go for? Bumper boats, mini sub, windsurfer. Yeah, let's do windsurfer because I've done this before and it's cool. Right, okay, windsurfer. With these, all right, you do have to kind of build it yourself, but they're pretty easy to make. So we're going to start off. I'm going to start off, go out here. I think that's our boundary right here. Yeah, see that fence? That's the boundary. So actually, yeah, 
we can't go beyond that so I can't actually go out around here um, but I can take them around this area here which is you know kind of okay maybe I'll go around the, some of these right so this is our start point and I'm gonna do it like this kind of expensive actually it's almost more expensive than the log flume which is kind of insane Right, we want a reasonably length uh, station because that's where your um, your you know windsurfing boats, whatever they're called. What the hell are they? Boards? Wind surf board? I don't know. I, don't know if I had to. Right. The only unfortunate thing is the tracks for these are unbelievably boring. So it literally is a case of just doing this, which doesn't make for the most riveting ride it's got to be said give a nice little straight look we'll just cane it down here look how much money this is used i mean for this ride seriously let's just keep time running at the same time for the amount so basically what would happen is we'll have windsurfers here and then people get to go out and go around and then they'll come back around but seriously this is an expensive ride for what it is every little pip is 50 pounds which is huge money. I actually think that this ride, I mean, it's not even an exciting ride, it's like a really tame ride. I think for the money, seriously, it shouldn't be this much. Look at it, we're right on the edge of our budget here, I'm gonna have to stop spending now. Can't believe this. But I'm going to have to wind this on and make a good amount of cash, otherwise we're going to be here for ages. It's ridiculous. Let's see how our pools are doing right here. Uh, night time again. Hot tub bonanza. See, people love these hot tubs. Anyway. Let's say that. There's nobody in them. That one was full. Now oh, they're going in that one. These will be occupied. Yep, there we go. Look at the turtle. I like how there's people sunbathing at night. That's <laughs> This is totally crazy. Okay. Now we can get back on with doing this. I hope we can. Right, apparently as well we need to go out a little bit more. Right, there we go. Around, around. No, apparently not. Don't tell me we can't go around these things. Otherwise I'll be irritated. Well, apparently we can't, which is bloody stupid in my opinion. That's fine, we'll go the other way around. We'll have to go right out around you. That could be to do with these sort of small rocks or whatever these are meant to be. Yep, that's what it is, it's these stupid things. That's fine, we can avoid... What a, what a hell of a slot, this is going to be one hell of a... Uh, it's gonna be one hell of a windsurfing ride. It's gonna go on forever, right? Down, 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 down. Oh man, this is such an expensive thing. I probably should have made it smaller because really it should have fully just gone around there. This is gonna take them ages to complete this course. But whatever, okay. We're gonna have a really extreme windsurfing course. I'm not sure if this pink really matches the rest of the park, to be honest. I don't know if I can change this on the fly. Maybe. Anyway. Flowing ferry broke, but it's only just been built. Right, how many bloody pieces are we gonna need to fix to get over there? I mean we're gonna need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-five. 
That's quite a lot. Do, 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 Should I just hit auto complete? Anyway, see, that's what auto complete is good for. Right, 500. We got 500. There we go. Right, so now we can build our ticket office, etc. I'm going to put that over this side. And the exit. There we go. And now it's just a case of building the paths out to the rides, as usual. Uh, using sand here. So I'm going to build this like so. Now, sometimes you can, uh, there we go. This is a kind of weird one. And people should be able to get out here on that. This is such a horrible, weird path thing. Now look, it's kind of, oh no, we've trapped them. They don't know where to go. Why does it do this, seriously? I hate when it does this. I'm going to have to flatten this land. I think that's why it's smooth. I hate these terrain things, seriously. No. It's not going to do it. Right, I'm going to have to specifically do this. Oh, it won't go down anymore. For crying out loud, that's fine. I just have to bring this bit up. Oh, it won't do this bit. Right, okay, apparently it's some weird ass thing. Fine, right? Okay, I'm going to have a different solution then. Different solution to this thing. You guys are going to have to just figure it out for yourselves. Um, right, I'm going to actually do it like this. Because it looks too bloody stupid. These guys are just going to have to go somewhere. Um, Right, there we go. Right, that's, I think you'll agree, much neater solution than what I had before, where the path was like weirdly meeting the other thing. Right, so now we've got to make our entry point, which is what we're doing. I don't expect that it's going to be massively crowded, so I would hope that we can get away with that, like so. Let's see what happens to Mr. and Mrs. Oh dear. They're totally trapped now. What are they going to do? I don't think... Oh, I can pick them up. Look. There we go. There we go. They're happy. They're back going on with things. And our next ride is about to open. So, we can mix it up. All right, here we go. Uh, right, there we go. There's all our rides. Uh, we can adjust the colour of the station, I believe. Yep, here we go. So I'm going to make it yellow. Hmm. That should... be fixing that. Is it this? No. Oh, that's colour of the track. Yeah, well, anyway. Right, we're making colours for the actual things themselves. Right, there we go. Right, we need some more lights. Sorry, I've been kind of lost in thought there thinking about my ride. I was kind of, I'll tell you what I was thinking there. I was actually thinking, wasn't sure whether this ride was a good investment or not. Um, <laughs> we'll soon see, I guess. I'm not feeling massively confident about it, it's got to be said. Some more lights down. 
Right, I'm just going to place some of these lights around the place a little, make things a little bit easier. We've got plenty of light here. Uh, I did say I might place some... Oh, I can only place them on paths, can't I? Path edge, so I can't just put them down randomly anywhere. Where's the other bit? Oh yeah, what we could do with one over here. There we go. And get something down there. Right, there we go. So I think that's where I'm going to wind up today. It's definitely been another hour long episode, so I look forward to uploading that later. Um, <laughs> seriously, you don't, you don't even know. It's pain, agony. Look at this, he's going night... She, sorry, she's going night windsurfing. Off she goes. Ba -ba -ba -bam -bam -bam. Ba -ba -ba -bam flying. Apparently it's very windy. How the hell can she see where she's going? This is a lot faster than I remember this ride being. She's literally flying around the course. Look at this, she's loving the hell out of it. Do, 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 do. Whoosh! I can actually probably click on her. Wait, where's the thing? No! There we go. Way! Shush! Loving it. Way, we're right in here. Uh, no, that's the next ride. What we want to do is... Oh, I thought we could go on to the... Uh, I thought we could go on to the car at the front. Usually it allows you to do that. Anyway, anyway, I'll let people are loving the hell out of this. Not a massive queue, but that's okay, because we only have five of these anyway, so we don't want to be too busy. Apparently things are getting a little bit messy down here. I think it's going to be time to get another janitor. My staff costs are going to be spiralling out of control. But, oh dear, Janet 3 is not happy. Look at the bloody laziness. Do some training. I think I better check. Yeah, look at this. No wonder the park's a bloody mess. Oh, Bradford Columbeck. I don't remember naming that guy. How weird. Ross Lucas. Somebody been hacking my game. I don't remember naming these people. Oh, do they get a name when they get to max training or something? How weird. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> up until they're named, uh, up until they're trained fully, they don't even get, like, a name. <laughs> it's just like the trainee badge, you know? <laughs> Anyway, here's how the park is looking at the end of uh, session two. Uh, we have added, what have we added today? We have added windsurfing rides, so people can enjoy windsurfing around the park. We have added this little floundering ferry ride, which to be honest, for, the, for how exciting it looks, has a fairly disproportionate queue. Um, look at the mess, seriously. I haven't got any litter bins on this path. But I mean, seriously. We're going to need to do something to sort of resolve our, um, our litter problem, I think. Where's the proper litter bins? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna, I don't know what we placed down already, so I'm just going with the default one. Why have I got a sign? This isn't going well today. Things are going out of control here. There should be a wild bin, which is what I thought I had, but... There's some bins down there. We haven't... You, you guys haven't seen these water cannons. They only cost five pounds. And um, they're pretty funny, actually. Um, let's put some down here. I guarantee people are going to get on these straight away. And it basically allows people to, as you might imagine, create water-based havoc on the park. There we go. They're already on them. It just allows people to spray water all over the place. Which, can you imagine if this actually was... Maybe they do have these in some parks. They just never... There they are, like somebody's loving the hell out of that. Some guy on just literally a water cannon. Look, he's just spraying the hell out of everywhere. Can you imagine, like, real life? <laughs> Look at this! How fun to actually have like this is this isn't this is like a riot, you know. This is like what they use for crowd control in riot situations. That's totally insane. 
And as I say, my little control is kind of mildly out of control. My little control, my little problem, I should say. But um, the parks are messy. I think the next episode, we need to look into some... Uh, this is a hugely busy area as well. Look at this. I need to do something. Look at this area. It's so insanely busy. We possibly again need to build like another pool area here we've got, got some money saved up need to get another sort of couple of grand easy because remember how that small pool I drew in the beginning was costing like 1700 so I need to kind of build like another pool area right here and then I can get these guys involved anyway that's the end of the episode for today guys oh yeah just to recap the other things we built were the uh, uh, the ring slide over here and obviously my rather suicidal death drop flume over here which as you can see psh, gives a slightly help borderline health and safety uh, drop. There they go again. <laughs> Not sure that would pass in, in a real world situation. Anyway, there we go guys. The park is uh, developing. The rain is falling. I'll see you next time for some more Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. If you've enjoyed this rather long episode again, please drop me a like. Last of Us is coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.